today I'm going to show you how to recreate this look here. A great Halloween option by itself, or you could use for maybe a witch. I love the spiderweb detail and the pop of green. I think it's so pretty. So let's get started. I'm going to begin bare-faced and go right into the eyes. I like to start with the eyes when I'm using color, especially something more dramatic or theatrical in case you get any fallout, because it makes it easier to clean up later on. Using a white underneath color allows the best color payoff. Taking a neon green eyeshadow, I'm going to actually use my finger. This allows the pigment to really show through over top that white, and we really want that green to pop. Using your finger allows you to pack on that color. Then taking a bit darker, deeper green, I'm this time going to use a brush on the outer corner to help blend and transition this in the center. Then just taking a fluffy brush and a little bit more of the deeper green on it, I'm going to slowly blend this up and out into the crease. You'll have to forgive me on this part because my camera actually died without me knowing, so some of the footage is missing. But to quickly catch you up, all I did was take a piece of tape on both my eyes to create a barrier. Then taking some matte black eyeshadow, I applied this over top, focusing on the outer corner of the crease to help give that more depth and to darken that. Again, using the tape just makes it easy to clean up and gives you a super sharp edge, which is where we're going to place the first line of the spider web. Then I'm going to take some of my favorite black eyeliner to use on the waterline and use this on top and bottom, corner to corner. Once you have enough color, just slowly peel away the tape and you can see that super clean edge. Taking a super small smudging brush and a black eyeshadow, I'm going to blend this on the lower lash line, corner to corner, to help thicken up and darken the bottom eyeliner. Then using a small detail brush and my black face paint, I'm going to put an exaggerated wing right over top where that clean edge from the tape was. This will be the first line for the spider web. Before we move on to finishing the web, I am going to quickly finish up my face makeup. So using my foundation, concealer, and contour, I will quickly apply that. Everything that I'm using in today's video will be listed in the description box, so check that out if you want specifics, links to shop, and discount codes. Now that I've cleaned up the under eye, I'm going to move back to the web. So just pulling lines down away from my eye. You can use as many as you would like, just depends how dramatic you want the look to be. You can make them also as long as you want. I decided to go with five, so five lines pulled out and away. Then you're just gonna make like a small, almost U shape in between. Again, depending on how long your lines are, you may need to do more or less, but you can see mine have two of those U shapes for each pair of original lines. Once you have your web design ready, you can place a little bit of lash glue mixed with loose glitter right over top. Then I just use my brow pencil and build in my brows pretty much as normal. You can take a small concealer brush and clean up the edges of the web with some concealer if you feel you need to. Then I'm going to add my highlight on the brow bone and inner corner, apply my false lashes, a black lipstick, and then I topped this off with a glittery green lipstick to get that ombre effect to match the eye. Then to finish up the look, I put in my green colored contacts, which I do have a discount code for you guys on those if you're interested, and a black wig. So that's everything for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to make sure you're still subscribed to my channel so you never miss a new video. As always, thank you guys for all your continued support. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your Halloween weekend, and I will see you guys in the next video.